So we're going to see a few tries, I'm guessing. It's a carnival atmosphere as ever in the south of France. Tricolors waving, some being worn on the eyes. And here come the teams. The flying sparks greet Les Bleus. The waving tricolors, a blue, white and red backdrop to this seismic showdown. France two from two in Pule, the USA and South Africa dispatched yesterday. Fiji drawing against the Americans and then ending Friday night's schedule with a heavy loss to South Africa in a torrential downpour. And a referee for this one, Morni Ferreira of South Africa. It is a wonderful kaleidoscope of colour inside this famous old stadium. A stadium that has seen so much history, so many triumphs, so much home glory in the red and black of Stade Toulouse. Now it is all about Les Bleus. It is all about Équipe de France and the France Sevens team who will get us off and running through Stefan Perez. And what have Fiji got left in reserve? They know the last eight and the minimum ten precious standing points are beyond them. Ninth place and eight points, the best they can muster here in Toulouse. And they look to launch the game's first attack and wide they go to Wasoli Solo. And he's a big man with soft hands. Sauturanga and Baterarenga. Jose Mbaterarenga made his debut in Hamilton. A high shot on the Fijian. And now they move it wide. Manrele Mai Samoa is lurking here. It might not be required because the giant praying mantis that is Joseba Talatholo waiting to pounce. Nathungu ships it on. Fiji entering that French 2022. And Wasoli Solo goes once more. Fiji exerting the early pressure. Little show and go and the stutter step from Belawa. And Fiji are home. And that is an awful lot more like it from the men from the Pacific Islands. Beautiful rugby from Fiji there. They just kept it in hand, moved the French guys around and they couldn't live with it. We can't blame lethargic uh, legs because it's very early on in this half. But the Fijian guys just fly and look at that out of Valewa. Beautiful stuff, little man, but he moves fast. Scored seven tries in 12 matches coming into this tournament. One of them, the golden point to send Fiji to the Hong Kong final at the expense of GB. Conversion successful, and there is that Harvey band of travelling Fiji supporters. Drowned out by the noise of the Umpa band and the many more thousand French supporters, but Fiji always travel well. There's always a pocket of fanatical Fijians who whatever sevens is being played in the world. There we go, orange the choice of colour for the marching band who are in full sail at the moment and looking for something to pump those French horns about. Mazzolini on a run there but uh, he got caught high by Natunku. So France here are going to get their hands on this ball. Probably going to go for a set piece. Just grab a grip in this game. Yeah, Ryan Rabaj has been asked to play some Fijian meters. And France will have the line outs as they look to rise to the task ahead. They know top spot in the group will be theirs because of that head to head record against South Africa. Jérôme Daré peering on, wearing a pensive look, perhaps a more frustrated one now because the line-out is crooked. Line out. It's an odd mindset for this one because France know they have the top of the group. Somebody said a few too many pressions last night. Mm. 
Or maybe his head in his hands because of that crooked line-out, we don't know. We'll make you... Uh, that would be a that far one. more innocent explanation. Let's go with that, shall we? But you have the weird mindset for France here because they know they're top in the group and also Fiji can't really qualify. They're coming out of the bottom of the pool, so... But they're um, two incredible teams. Set. Yeah, that's the as it stands table. France top seven points up there with South Africa. Fiji at the moment sitting third with six. And that could, of course, all change in the next few minutes as Manuele Mai Samoa is upended. Fiji, though, the distinctive goose steps they just splutter into life. It's almost transfixing, so captivating to watch. Palatholo, dream team in Singapore, and that's why electric offload to Mbaterirenga. Pornagiva drives him back, but he's not rolled away. Bit of a stop start here, first half. It's not really flowing rugby, which you would expect, Jamie, with two high offloading teams. Highest offloading team is Fiji with 6.7 per game, and France is 6.5, so... It's weird that it's not flowing just yet, but um, the stalemate won't last forever. Line yours. On the line. I say Nadungo, over 250 matches now for Fiji. Played in his 50th tournament back in Singapore, related to the great Josua Tuisova and Filippo Nakosi, two massive specimens who've played their rugby in France. Now here come the French, Théo Falnay. Pass is a little bit loose. Troabal throws a very dusty one inside, which Fiji will hoover up with glee. Numbers on both sides. Mbaterirena, Talatholo gets those long levers a pumping. And again, oh, he's away from two. Talatholo looking for supports. Put this man in a straight jacket, he'll find an offload. But that one floats into French hands. And Ryan Rebage sees it open up ahead of him. Offloading neatly to Troabal. And there's the offload that could pay. Tail from there. Oh, what a tackle! A stunning off the floor to the badge. Fiji desperate defence. That is incredible from the flying Fijians. And they have the penalty. Oh, my Last Lord. Last-ditch defence doesn't get any better. And now Fiji flick the switch. And they're going from 100 metres out. That is Fijian rugby. And it's beautiful, ruthless, and often cruel best. Vilawa has a double defence to attack in the blink of a Fijian eye. Well, if you wanted to see sevens encapsulated in one play, this is it right here, Jamie. For all love, Normoni Fournay was going over that line. Absolutely clawed him down, and he wasn't finished yet. Double effort. Incredible stuff by Wally Soliso. And then they go the whole length of the pitch. The French coach is not happy. Yeah, remarkable effort to get back from Vui Riawa. Wally Soli Solo. And then Vilawa under the posts. He wasn't going to be caught. Conversion's a good one. 14 points to nil. And Vilawa, the architect of the French downwall. Fiji restarts. Final 10 seconds of the first half. Can France get themselves on the board here? Good footwork indeed from Joaquim Troabal. Has he got the wheels to go all the way? Oh, you better believe it. And boy, France needed that before the break. Flags waving. Fist pumping. Les Bleus have their first try of the day. And that has woken up the French crowd. Absolutely beautiful by Troval. You can't buy speed, Jamie. Those high knees absolutely flowing down that touchline. Look at those flags behind him. That's exactly what you want to see. Wonderful footage. Great shot of Joaquim Troabal coasting in at the corner. Good stock as well in the Troabal jeans. His father, Jean Charles, a <laughs> 4 by 100 metre record holder on the track here in France. And France do have a try before the interval. Conversion from wide on the right is wayward. It's a nine-point game at the interval. Doesn't feel like a dead rubber, this one. Fiji 14, France 5. Greg 
Ben Gollings, the great Ben Gollings, in amongst the Fijian huddle as they listen to the halftime messages. What's going to be key for them to try and get that elusive first win? For Fiji to get the first win. It's weird for them not to have a win at this stage. They're struggling this season, to be honest. They're chasing their first cup title this season, and their last win was uh, in Toulouse last year. But you can see from the stats here, two tries to one, they're having a great first half. 100% actually visiting to 22. They're carrying hard, they're passing hard. Um, but it's just need to keep it up for the second half to get their first win of Toulouse 2023. There's Anton Dupont, absolute god in this area. Toulouse are playing today, I believe, down in Perpignan. Yeah, massive game for Toulouse down in Perpignan as they look to the home semi-final in the top 14. Antoine Dupont is basically god around here. His face adorning many of the stand Elmas one or walls. Jérôme Derry rousing his French troops. The crowd, though, certainly don't need any rousing. Nine-point deficit for France. Somebody working on his tan. Get you a pair of those budgies, Jamie, after this. Don't worry, bud. <laughs> Do they come in my size? I don't know. <laughs> so here we go. Final half of men's pool match rugby here in Toulouse. Fiji with the advantage, two tries to one. France, nonetheless, heading through to the quarterfinals as pool winners. And by the way, it is Great Britain who they'll meet in the quarterfinals. <laughs> Penalty France, Fiji in obstruction, an escorting line. Not an ideal start for Fiji in the second half. They needed to capitalise on the momentum they had from the first half. But let's see, France have the ball now, the energy in the stadium has definitely risen. We don't want France to get too excited, otherwise they're going to uh, be having a heavy second half, Fiji. France readying young Andy Timo, the teenager, to come on. The marching band enjoying the occasion. Here's Mazzolini. Riva. Matteo Forney looking to menace. Back it goes to Mazzolini taking on Fiji. Jordan Sifo with him. He's a powerful big unit, but takes some doing to get rid of a Fijian like that. Forney. Rabage, younger brother of French international Swan. Trobal, it's not going to do it again, is he? Oh, yes! Teasing, toying, terrorising Fiji. France have their second. The pure speed, oh my, beautiful to see. He slowed down a little bit, held up the Fijian and just went. This is textbook stuff here, Jamie. Looking inside, held it up for a second and then went. Look. It's the deception in the eyes, Greg. He looked as though he was just hanging around, you know, about to pour himself a beer, maybe a cup of tea, and off he went. He'd get himself an acting career after this if he wanted. Conversion successful, two-point game, five minutes to play. Joaquim Troabal has a double. Time off. It's a crying shame Joaquim Trobal only gets credited with one line break for both those tries. Doesn't seem fair. I take the two tries over one line break. Lies, lies and statistics. Paraphrasing. Matsuleni restarts. And now Fiji looking to regain that impetus that they had in the first half. And it's the classic step and go from Nathungo. Fijian fluency. Talatholo. Off he goes, round the outside, gets support from the hefty figure of Nanduvalo. Belawa. Oh, he's up to his old tricks again. Belawa, foot race for the hat trick, heads for the corner, that's clever. They'll not stop him. Belawa. <laughs> The Fijian police officer laying down the law in Toulouse. A treble for the Fijian Sprite. 
Bilawa take a bow. He is sold the dummy and just pin the ears back. Stutter step. See you later. French guys falling all over the place. How important was his angle of running there, Greg? He knew he maybe didn't have the legs if he made it up. A straight angle towards the post, but he bent his line towards the corner flag to make sure he scored. And it takes a lot of awareness to know when you're being chased, where they are, how far away they are, and how long you have. If you go off the centre line, it usually throws off the defender, and you'll make it a few more metres. Smart running. I think we need to get the oxygen chance out for Dario Vilawa after that. He's coming off for a breather. 19 points to 12 then, little over three minutes left. And France have it back through Iragua. Riva, it's a loose one for Andy Timo. But he has made the very best of a bad situation. Rebadge, juggled by Riva. Iragua. Iragua still. Eventually the deal with him, has to fling it off the deck to Riva. But there are plenty of fresh blue legs off to the right. Logel to Mazzoleni. And now Joaquin Troabal beats Talatholo, beats another advantage for the high tackle. Logel. Less flamboyant, more ferocious. Troabal once more. Rebadge. Pola Riva, the Toulouse boy. Iragua cutting back against the grain. Just shackled by two meaty Fijians. Riva, Rebadge, Logel, two to his outside, looking for the cut from Mazzuleni. Oh, it's just about worked for him. He finds the inside ball to Rebadge, beats by Samoa, sidesteps the posts and gets France back within touching distance. Great work by the French there. A lot of missed tackles by the Fijians on the inside shoulders. They're over chasing the French. Mussolini causing carnage there in the middle of the pitch. Bouncing off like a pinball. Pops it off to Rebage. Lovely score, some happy French guys in this stadium. That's what it means to the French faithful. They love their sevens. And they love Les Bleus. A roar in slow motion. Iragua adds the extras, and now 11. the scores are level. We have a 11. game in our hands here, Jamie. Fiji have already drawn one match in this pool, Pool 26. C. A heart stopper against the USA, their opening game. 21 all that finished. They lost heavily to South Africa last night. They're looking for their first win in Toulouse as Stephen Perez is introduced from the bench. And it's Ryan Rabat, the tri-scorer, who makes way. 75 seconds left, who wants this match ball? Brilliant hanging kick from Perez. And France have it, but in front of the kicker. How often do you see that penalised? That is a tough break for France. Perez is a great person to bring on. They're bringing him on to see it out for the last minute, but that is just not ideal. And the Fijians have some crazy tap plays. Let's see what they're up to here. Championship minutes, these. Cup quarterfinals beyond Fiji. Eight points, the most they can take from Toulouse. Everyone will count in the race for Olympic qualification. Hang on a minute. France have torpedoed that rock. And William Iragua is weaving his magic again. Three black and white jerseys around him, he's still slipping and sliding. Final 30 seconds, Logel resourcing that rock, Andy Timo eventually clears it away over Riva's head. Riva does well to gather, Riva shrugging them off, Timo again, here we go, Joaquin Troabal on a hat-trick, 1v1, they will catch him! Wow! at the death three from three in pool C and three tries for the deadly Joaquin Troval what a superstar he did that with such ease 
And that is not an easy thing to do, Jamie. Look at this, once again. He just bends the earth back and there's no way he's being caught. Patrick Hero. <laughs> Superstar. What a finale. Stad El Nesuano as loud, as raucous, as joyful as it's been all weekend. And look at what it means to the French. Chasing a first title win since Paris 2005. And they will top their pool for the first time since that very same tournament on the HSBC World Rugby 7 Series. Full time in the final men's pool match. BG 19, France 24. And look at these scenes.